Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be our third and final installment of trying the Gordon Ramsay foods. So I finally got a hold of the chicken pot pie. We're gonna give that a try. My family hasn't tried the Wellington bites, so we're gonna try that. We have the three cheese stuffed pizza bites and then the cheese bites. So we still don't have the chicken bites, but I think we'll be okay without this. So we're gonna go ahead and get these in the oven and get them cooking and then we'll give them a shot. Here is our chicken pot pie. Kind of looks like a big cracker on top. So we'll kind of see what that tastes like. And then we have our little plate of goodies. We have the beef Wellington bites, which I've tried, but I'm gonna have my dad and maybe my sister, if she wants them to try. We have our pizza bites and then we have our cheese bites. I will start with the cheese bite. It is crispy seasoned beer battered white cheddar. I like the beer battered. I don't know if I've ever had beer battered cheese before. And the white cheddar gives it like a slight bite that like a mozzarella wouldn't give you. I couldn't wait, so I've already had three of them. It was oozing out on, on the pan, so I ate three. So I hopped out for the first testing, it was really good. What would you give it out of five? I give it a four out of five because I was expecting more like a, I was expecting more like a mozzarella and this has a little more flavor. I like the, mm -hmm. the white it's cheddar. It's a little bitey. Yeah. But in a good way. I think I give it a four out of five as well. Next, we're gonna try the Wellington Bites. So it's tender beef and mushroom. What is that? Duxelle? Duxelle. D-U-X-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, wrapped in a flaky golden pastry. So these ones are a little more cooked than last time. They're a little more golden. I might have overcooked it a tad. It's flaky, but it's good. It's flaky. The meat's moist. Good I flavor. think it has good flavor on the yeah. inside. I think I gave it a four out of five last time. I said I would buy it again, and I bought it again. <laughs> mm. Hot? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Mine's a little chewy, though. Oh, you got a chewy piece? Yeah. I think I did last time I got one, too. I had a couple pieces of meat in there, and then the rest looks like it's kind of that. The mushroom? Yeah, the mushroom <laughs> inside. I like it. It tastes really good. I'd say four out of five. Four, four, four point two. Ooh. Mm. I think it was better than the cheese. Than the cheese? Yeah, yeah. I think it had really good flavor. I was impressed by them. Down here on the ground, we have all of our friends helping us out here. <laughs> we have five of our, what, how many animals do we have on property? You're counting goats Nine. And we have goats and chickens here too. I'm In case you're wondering, this clearly isn't my kitchen. I'm visiting my family for Christmas, so we're in Oxford. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Next, we're gonna try the pizza bites. Three cheese stuffed pizza bites, pizza crust stuffed with mozzarella, provolone, and Parmesan cheese in marinara sauce. It's a lot. I'm not a big fan of pizza rolls. Hey, so did I guess it say we'll marinara see. sauce on it? Marinara sauce inside of it. Oh, inside. Again, this is the same as my other videos where, oh, the cheese ones show marinara sauce on the side mm -hmm. and you don't get any sauce. So, it's good. I'm not a fan. It's like, it's just a sauce. There's not like pepperoni pieces. Yeah, maybe for pepperoni would be better. It just feels like a lot of bread. It doesn't even feel very cheesy. It doesn't I'm, look cheesy. To be fair, I'm not a huge pizza bite person, but I definitely, that's gross. That's, that's a hard pass Give for me. Give it a me. two. Sorry. Yeah, I would, <laughs> yeah. Definitely wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, pass on this one. There's other better ones. All right, the last one is gonna be the chicken pot pie. I've been the most excited for this one, so I hope it tastes good. So I think I overcooked it slightly. It's a little crunchy. Already looks a little dry. Not a lot of sauce in there. We'll see. Looks like they could have made the bowl smaller and deeper. The cracker tastes like a good biscuit or mm -hmm. something. Or cracker, I don't know. I just need more filling. That's all we got for filling. The cracker's really good. I think if it was cooked the right amount. <laughs> Not overcooked. But honestly, it has more flavor in the cracker and the sesame than, is there sesame in, the in that? No? I don't it's think not. so. 
I mean, it's not bad. Oh, if you do just, just the filling, it's kind of like, it's hearty and almost tastes mushroomy. Like there's some mushroom in there. Mm -hmm. That's good. I guess let me read it. What is it? Chicken breast pieces, yeah. peas and carrots in a creamy sauce topped with puff pastry. I think those are mushrooms in there. I mean, of all the pot pies I've ever had and the ones you see in the stores, it's definitely better. It has it, the flavor depth. Is there's more to it? It's not as salty as you'd expect. It has 67% of your daily sodium in there, but it's not as like salty as other mm -hmm. ones you'd have. And the top in that is unique. It's very different from a standard. It's not all the way through. Pie. It's just the cracker pastry on top. I like it. Maybe a 3.5. I don't know if I need it again. I always think it, think of it, if I was gonna have this for lunch one day, would I eat it? I don't think I'd eat it for lunch. <laughs> I'd eat one of the beef ones again. What did I say, 3.5? 3.5. Yeah, 3.5. So since this is the last video in our Gordon Ramsay installment, little recap from what I recall on our favorites and least favorites. Ben really liked the lasagna with the bolognese meat sauce. So I say buy that one. I liked the lemon caper chicken. So I say buy that one. Cheese bites, I would definitely buy the appetizer ones. The slow roasted beef was my favorite. Buy that one. <laughs> Wellington bites, I'd say buy them. At least give them a try and see what you think. Then the other ones are the crab cakes. They were good, but I'd say have tartar sauce with them and we didn't have any on hand, so that was a little sad. Shepherd's pie, get it if it's something you prefer. It wasn't necessarily our favorite. Pizza bites, I would personally skip but if you like pizza bites, they were good. There just wasn't a lot of cheese. So my sister says no. She's she will eat pizza bites and she said that's those are no-go. So maybe don't get them at all. <laughs> the four cheese macaroni was pretty good. I'd say give that a shot. It just wasn't wasn't for us. The day we ate it wasn't for us. <laughs> Fish and chips were good, but needed tartar sauce. So if you have tartar sauce at home, definitely eat it with tartar sauce. And the chicken pot pie, I would say give it a shot too. Maybe needs some more sauce or just something to spice it up, but I would give it a try. Thank you all for following along as we tried all of the Gordon Ramsay frozen meals, minus the chicken bites, but that's okay. I think the next series I wanna do is trying other celebrity chefs frozen meals. I know that Guy Fieri has some. I think the Pioneer Woman has some, and there's one or two other chefs that I've seen. So I think we'll give those a try here in the near future. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Check out Happy Acres Ranch Oxford. Happy New Year.